It's highly unlikely that you will catch one of these bees, but nevertheless the Arapaima, also known as the Pyraru tool Pahir, is a huge carnivorous fish that can be found in the Amazon River and its surrounding lakes. Thankfully this prehistoric looking giant fish prefers to prey on other fish and birds not humans, and are such effective predators that they can even live in piranha infested waters. If you don't manage to reel one in, then there is a chance you might see one swimming. They are usually found close to the surface of the water because they need to take an additional oxygen through their gills. The creatures can reach 9 feet long and weigh up to 200 pounds. And are the world's largest freshwater fish, so make sure you get a photo if you do see one. Also known as a PACU, the tambaki fish is a seed and fruit eating fish that is considered one of the best tasting freshwater fish in the world. A member of the piranha family. The species can reach up to 3 feet in length and weigh up to 100 pounds. Probably the most valuable fish in the region. The fish often snack on the seeds of the rubber tree and usually found in waters near to Manaus, Brazil, where the riverboat cruise begins. One of the other most terrifying fish in the Amazon is the kangaroo. These tiny parasitic catfish live in the freshwater lakes and rivers and are famous for their ability to launch themselves into the urethra of anyone that stupidly urinates in the river. They may be famous for these incidents, but the evidence for them hurting people and even doing this at all is very thin, so it definitely isn't advised to pee in the Amazon River. In actual fact, the fish prefer to prey on other fish by attaching themselves to the fish's gills and feeding on their host's blood. Possibly the most famous and most feared sea creature of the Amazon, the red-bellied piranha has been portrayed as one of the most dangerous fish throughout popular culture. When this simply isn't the case, the fish are primarily scavengers that can grow to up to 12 inches long and usually travel in schools. Their famous gnashes means they are able to consume most prey easily, however. The feeding frenzy is often portrayed in Hollywood movies that shows a school stripping its prey down to the bones in minutes. Is actually a pretty rare occurrence and usually only takes place when the fish are starved. by the bony plates that cover their skin. The armored catfish, part of the Loricarid family, usually have a ventral succumuth with puffily on their lips. Their succumuth allows them to feed, breathe and attach using incredible suction. Also known as the succumuth catfish or simply, plex. Different varieties of armored catfish can be found in the Amazon region, including a type of armored catfish that was found eating wood in the Santa Ana River in Peru. The fish may eat the wood, however it cannot digest it and has to expel the matter as waste. Despite the name, the electric eel isn't actually an eel, it's a fish. And a big fish at that. The electric eel can reach around 9 feet in length and weigh around 50 pounds. It is, however, most definitely electric and has enough electricity, a 650 volt shock to be precise, to stun a person. Usually found in muddy bottoms. The electric eel is largely avoided by locals as it can still shock even 8 hours after its death. Literally resembling pancakes, the species was discovered in 2012 in the Rio Nane near Iquitos, Peru. Freshwater stingrays are known to grow to around 1,000 pounds and have over 40 different species and more are being found every year in the Amazon.
Additionally, a saltwater fish pebble shark has also adapted to become a freshwater fish and is mostly found in Brazil, primarily due to its proximity to the ocean. These clever creatures have developed special osmoregulating kidneys, which allow them to change in salinity of the water they're kept in. Their kidneys basically recycle the vital salts they need throughout their body, allowing them to move permanently into freshwater areas. The Piara, or the vampire fish, can be found in most of the Amazonian regions in Brazil, Bolivia, Peru and Ecuador. Famous for being extremely aggressive and resembling a vampire, the vampire fish is most often found in fast-moving water and rapids, so it is usually more difficult to spot. The fierce predators are able to eat fish that are half of their own body size, which is usually at a length of around 47 inches and a weight of approximately 40 pounds. You can spot a vampire fish by its two front fang-like teeth. The two Kunare peacock base is native to the basins of the Rio Negro, Uatuma and Orinoco in northern South America. This particular species of peacock base is also known as speckled pavon. Speckled peacock base, or painted pavon. It is a very large South American cichlid enterprise game fish reaching almost 1 meter 3.3 feet in length and a weight of more than 12 kilograms 26 pounds peacock bass most often occur in rapids and in quiet waters with medium depth they feed only on small fish especially threadfin shad mosquito fish tilapia and bluegill <laughs> 